Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video about how to stay healthy and fit while you're in college because everybody knows about the freshman 15 and let me tell you, it is real. And not only do people gain weight, but people neglect their health just in general. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my tips for how I keep up with my workout routine and stay as healthy as I can while still living my life and going to class and having friends. And I did manage to keep up my workout schedule perfectly the entire first semester. So my first tip would be to assess your options because every college campus is different and not every dorm room is close to a gym. So maybe you live close to a gym, maybe not. Maybe you live close to a track that you can run on. Some people like to just run around campus. Um, there are often like grassy areas that people like to work out on if you live in a place where the weather permits for that. Um, you can also just work out in your dorm room if you have space or if there's like a common area in your building that you can work out. Some campuses have free classes or discount workout classes. Once you figure out what you're going to do for your workout, you need to schedule it. Scheduling your workouts is so important. I work out five times a week and I take my rest days on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I like to have a rest day in the middle of the week and Saturdays I can sleep in, do homework, hang out with my friends. Scheduling my rest days is really helpful because then on those days I just don't worry about working out. Like today's a Wednesday and I can just focus on school. I just don't need to worry about it. Personally, I like to work out in the morning. So before my 10 a.m.s, I like to wake up like an hour early so I can get in a workout before class. Last semester when I had 9 a.m.s, I preferred to work out afterwards so I'd always like put in like my list of things to do like the order that I'm going to do it so it's like I knew exactly when I was going to work out because if you just say like oh I'll work out eventually today like the odds are you're not going to get around to it. Going off of that I suggest working out in the first half of the day because then the second half of the day you have room for extracurriculars, maybe you have evening classes, and you can just like do homework or like, hang out with your friends and you don't need to have like this weight that like you need to work out like weighing over you. I say you work out at least three times a week um, because you need to do anything three times a week or more to improve. Personally, I work out in my room when my roommate is either asleep or when she's out of the room. I have a yoga mat and my dumbbells and my ankle weights and my workout videos and I sweat it out in here and it's really convenient because it saves a lot of time. I don't have to like walk to a gym. My next thing is to work out with your friends because a lot of the time you want to hang out with your friends in your free time. You don't want to work out. So I suggest maybe find a gym buddy that will make things more fun or go for a run with your friends or take a fun workout class and just you're spreading the joy of healthy living. And as for eating, dining halls are not very healthy or just not very good. So what I suggest, a lot of campuses have something called like dining dollars or just money that you can spend on at places around campus. I suggest getting dining dollars because one, you save money because usually they give you really good deals. Like at USC, you pay $300 for 500 dining dollars. So you get $200 of food for free, which I think is pretty cool. And that way you're free to eat anywhere on campus and you might have healthier options than you would at the dining hall. Cause like the salads at the dining hall are gross, but maybe they have like a place on campus that has better salads and you might actually enjoy eating healthier rather than just getting a bunch of pasta or a burger at the dining hall because you just don't like anything else that's there. If that's not an option, then just work hard to make healthier choices at the dining hall. Like try to avoid like all of the fast food options and make sure you're getting like protein and not just having like pasta and pizza because the carbs add up. 99% of the time I get water and I always drink a glass of water with my meal because like yeah they have a bunch of sodas but like you don't need to drink soda with every meal. My next tip is to eat on a regular schedule because in college a lot of people just don't eat normally. Some people just don't eat or they eat at really random times in the day or they eat really like unhealthy foods 
at unhealthy times of the day, which really is not good for your metabolism. It's not good for your health. There's a reason why you're supposed to eat three meals a day. There's a reason why you're supposed to have a certain amount of nutrition. Um, it has to do with like your energy throughout the day. And especially if you're going to be working out, then you need to eat regularly because working out burns calories and you can't be, have like a caloric deficit because then like you're just gonna like lose a bunch of weight and it's gonna be really unhealthy. Make sure you're eating three meals a day and I like to have a snack like in the afternoon between lunch and dinner because that's usually like my longer amount of time between meals and make sure to always eat breakfast. People just don't eat breakfast and a tip that I have for this if you don't have time to go to the dining hall or go somewhere for breakfast is to keep stuff in your room. I like to keep things like yogurt and cereal and milk in my room because on mornings that I work out, I don't usually have time to go to the dining hall before class. So I just eat breakfast in my room and it saves a ton of time. And my next tip is to try to sleep for seven hours a night. Um, eight hours is probably pushing it for a lot of college students, so I suggest seven hours. You need sleep, your brain needs to process your information, your body needs to recover, and a lot of the time people eat instead of sleep when they need energy, when it's like really you just need more sleep or you need to like drink water to like have more energy or you need to eat better food. Like in high school I definitely would like fall asleep in class and be like okay I need to eat something to wake me up but like maybe I wasn't even hungry, I just needed more sleep. So those are my tips for staying healthy and fit in college. I know it's really difficult because there's just so much going on and honestly, you might gain a little bit of weight in college. It's normal, you're going through like a major life transition. It might take some time to get into like a good like workout schedule, a good like eating schedule. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.